welcome to my channel. This is PJ's Thriving and this is my healthy weight loss journey, week 20 way in. I can't believe that it is week 20 already. So because it's been, it's week 20, I went back and I started looking in my journals and rewatched some of my first videos and whoa, those are pretty scary. Um, and it just seems like when you think about, when you say week 20, it seems like it's a really long time, but it really isn't, but for comparing to where I started from, uh, yeah, I can see a difference in the pictures. It's just, sometimes it's frustrating. People that live with me, people that are I am around every day. Oh, you're on a weight loss journey? <laughs> you can't tell? <laughs> no, they obviously can't tell. So I'm gonna put a couple of pictures that were from last year and at the end like November December and and you guys can see I'll put you know even now pictures but the first places that I normally notice weight loss is in the face and because I'm female in the boobs and I'm seeing it now in my waist so we we're talking about before we were talking about measurable weight loss so I have to say that when I first started my weight loss journey it was before I actually started uh, the YouTube channel so I was 238.5 pounds so I was right there at 240 pounds and I'm five foot eight so it's kind of distributed kind of and unless you're around me on how I dress unless you're really around me and you see me sitting or moving certain ways then then you can see that it's really obvious that I have a bunch in the middle and to the point where I have been asked if I was pregnant or when I was due I'm not there's not even a uterus so that's not a possibility but you know those kind of things are just really embarrassing so looking at measurable weight loss compared to where I was to where I am now because I'm looking at wow 20 weeks and then when I break down the numbers it's like wow that isn't that much but so I have to not get in that kind of mindset and look at measurable so I'm gonna put in some pictures from last year in November and then you can see now the face you can tell well at least I can or maybe it's because I wanted to do know that I was wearing a size 20 pants and I actually for the most part for a while stopped wearing regular pants because the middle was so big and I couldn't get him to stay up well the size 20 is gone long gone and I had purchased some size 18 and now those are gone and I am now in a size 16 and I only have two pair because I'm not buying a whole wardrobe um, the size 16 of course you know they are also that kind of denim stretch jeans but I can pull those suckers down when I go to the bathroom I don't even have to undo the button the zipper nothing they just come right down so for me that is measurable success even though when I look at the scale um, 35 pounds is really about what I've lost but it's coming off in inches and I'm, I'm able to start seeing it in other ways so I'm excited doctor wants me to lose a little bit faster right now he wants me under 200 at least to 200 right away and I'm almost there I am so excited I have not been under 200 in it's been a couple of years so I'm real excited for that number and is getting so close it's just I have this impatient thing that I want it right now <laughs> I want it now I got the now syndrome and it ain't happening so I don't weigh myself during the week because that's kind of depressing for me especially if it goes up then I'm in panic mode and <laughs> doing everything I shouldn't do so and I'm a stress eater and there's been a lot of stress but this week it is still a loss it, um, not exactly what the doctor wanted but it's still a loss so I'm not complaining I have not done a whole lot of exercise and walking I've been at the shop working with my husband a lot he is down an employee and the one that he does still help him um, isn't regular <laughs> he doesn't come he doesn't show up on time and most days he's two to four hours late 
So we are currently looking for a couple of new mechanics and it's been so hot this past week with the heat index and the humidity. It's been 100, 101, 102 all week. next week it's supposed to start cooling down so much I'm sure glad for I'm sitting outside right now I have air conditioning inside the house but lighting and you know there's people home and I just I don't like to talk about this kind of stuff in front of them now if they watch the video okay but if they comment I don't have to hear it because I'm not right there so I just thought you know this is August I'm sorry this is the beginning of September so we are starting month nine and if I keep going the way I am going now, I am on track to lose between 50 to 55 pounds in the first year. And that seems like not very much weight in a very long time, but it's really not because I'm doing this the healthy way because I don't want to lose it all and then gain it right back. So, and without killing myself, because every other diet and every other thing that I've attempted to do, I didn't stick with. So this one, I'm just not so hard on myself. I am, but not to the point where I just give up. Oh, I've wanted to give up plenty of times. I just, I haven't. So I'm on track to lose 55. I'm hoping 55, maybe a little more in the first year. And that is exciting for me. I just, I have to, I struggle sometimes with the patience because then I'm thinking, oh, I have to do this for a whole nother year. But you know, it's common for people that have yo-yo dieted for us to do that. And I have to think now that, you know, we are in a phase now where we are looking for long-term uh, replacements for what I was doing. So I'm going more towards, before I kept saying I wasn't dieting, I wasn't dieting, I'm not on a diet, I'm not on a diet. Yeah, I am. I restricted a whole bunch of stuff and then I beat myself up for eating cake and, you know, those kind of things. So, I'm um, because of my husband being from Palestine, in Palestine, Israel, uh, Middle Eastern diet, so or Mediterranean diet, so I've been looking up a lot of recipes. Now, I know how to cook a, quite a few dishes. Uh, that his mom taught me how to make. So I'll be incorporating more of that Mediterranean diet as a way of living, as a way of life. And then we'll see from there if we end up going vegetarian or raw vegan. I'm not sure exactly. We're gonna get there though eventually. So not doing a lot, neighbors are waving. <laughs> Uh, of exercise and walking this week walking back and forth and in the shop and working there is not the same as getting out and doing my steps and my bicycle things like that so hopefully hopefully we hire somebody soon and I don't have to be in that shop because of the garage doors being open all the time and it's freaking hot uh, so I'm still going forward it's just a little harder but I don't have I'm not readily available to all the snacks that I am here at the house so this week I lost 1.4 pounds and I contribute that my eating has been pretty good but I contribute that to not doing the bicycling and the walking and those kind of things so hopefully um, that will come back out and get better so I want to thank everybody for watching thanks for supporting my channel and let's keep on stepping going in the right direction thanks for watching guys have a great week and wear your mask Oh, 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 oh,